wanted to share a tip, something that, that I did that was very useful. When installing the head of a Jeep Wrangler 4.0, the, the 4 liter, the 6 cylinder straight uh, engine, the, the head and the blocks and the block doesn't have any guide pins, any studs, any any kind uh, kind of uh, uh, alignment aids. So when it comes time to put the head on the block, set the head on the block, you're battling two things. One, the head gasket that is sitting on the block, there's nothing to keep it in place, and two, the the head itself is 85 pounds, so it's a, a quite a heavy hunk of steel, a hunk of iron. That you're that you're battling with, to to have nothing on on your side helping you to get it exactly lined up and set in place. So the tip is how to add two or three or as many guide pins as as you want to 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 certainly make the job a, a lot easier. And what I did was I got the old uh, head bolts, replace them. They're cheap enough. Get new ones. Don't reuse them. The, the 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 amount of labor involved in in this job is it doesn't justify saving a few dollars on bolts. So buy new ones. Now now that you have new ones, get, get two or more, but at least two of the old um, bolts. There's two types of bolts. There's the shorter kind and the longer kind. These here. Forget the shorter ones. What I did was I got the, the longer ones and I cut the head off, the, right here. And what you end up with is this. Once you cut that off, you're left with this stud. And you grind off the end of it to round it off to make it a little easier for the head to get self-lined up, self-centered, lined up, and then you can slide it down. Once you have those guide pins, believe me, it is a lot easier. You have a lot more on your side helping you. Once you have the, you're deadlifting the weight of the head to get it lined up on those two studs, and then it just slips right on down and it lands exactly where it needs to. There you go, that's my tip. Okay. This is after the two pins. Are done, just hand thread them in. Just three, four, five threads. Yeah, this will be long enough to protrude out past the head. And so, once the head is in place, lined up by these uh, now uh, available uh, guide pins, once the head goes on, everything is lined up. You can come back and on thread these uh, bolts back on. I would put a couple of bolts to hold everything in place a couple of the new bolts put them in place and then once everything stays lined up with the new bolts you can come back and take these off Bob's your uncle there you go I hope you find that useful I hope it helps you if in your case uh, like in the Cherokees the head is buried underneath the firewall where it kind of cups over the head of the engine and you don't have the vertical room to clear a long guide pin, a long stud like this you can do what I did, although I do have the room um, you can move the pin further forward so you can come in at an angle and get the head where you need it and set it down on the longer pins or you can most certainly Cut these pins a lot shorter. They don't need to be full length like that. I just left them long like that so I could reach in and pull them out by hand. Because I made them so that they can protrude past the head once the head is sitting in place. But you can make them a, a, a lot shorter and just have a little peg. You would have to cut a little slit on the top of it so you can come back after the fact with a flat screwdriver, stick a flat screwdriver through the head, unthread your guide pin and maybe use a small magnet or whatever to fish it out of the hole. But you can cut these studs to just a little nub. 
but it will still give you an alignment peg to keep one to keep the head gasket in place and not shift it around and two so you can bring the head which is difficult to maneuver because it's so heavy and and set the head on it all you need is a little peg but I wouldn't cut a little flat groove on the top of this so you can get a flat screwdriver through the head unthreaded and then get a magnet and fish it out just an idea but I think this is a lot, uh, a lot easier to keep the head gasket in, in place and to get the head exactly lined up as you set it down on the head gasket all right I hope it helps you see you guys like butter baby like butter here's the guide pin here's one of them the other one is right here now it's uh there you go you can see it there now it's a matter of pulling them out but see so i can pull it out with my thumbs but i'm gonna wait till i put all the rest of the bolts in at least by hand and then I'll take those out make sure everything stays lined up there you go work like a charm like butter